Hello, this is Solar PV TV from Dubai, from the event organized by Messia and also Ginkgo Solar and uh, Dupont. And we are together with the general manager for Middle East and Africa, uh, Gulnara Abdulina. And uh, I would like to ask you, Gulnara, why did you decide uh, to make this event together with Dupont and Messia in Dubai, here in Dubai? Uh, hello, Tomas. Hello, Solar PV TV. Yes, indeed. Um, uh, Dupont is our uh, long-term partner. We've been uh, uh, procuring their components for many years now. And in fact, we see the value added by using uh, their products in our uh, bill of materials versus uh, some other products as well. We've had a very successful relationship and the event together with uh, Dupont and other markets around the world. And now we have come to also to the Middle East because we believe that for the conditions, for the uh, harsh climate conditions, as we have in Middle East, okay, uh, Dupont materials, especially the Tedler backsheet of Dupont, will be the greatest backsheet to use in order to ensure long-term durability of the product. From your point of view, which are the most uh, promising markets? When it comes to Middle East and Africa, we're still in the emerging state, right? If probably we can exclude South Africa because South Africa has already um, uh, installed capacity uh, uh, thanks to their previous uh, procurement rounds. And you are so great, huh? doing so great. Uh, thank you, yes. We actually had uh, more than 400 megawatt deployed uh, in uh, South Africa, which uh, makes us as actually number one, uh, giving us the number one market share in the entire continent. Okay, but apart from it, um, we see many more markets coming up. Jordan is uh, surprising, it's a small country, but they have taken a lead in terms of um, deploying PV, not only in the utility scale, but also in the distributed generation, because the government has supported the frameworks which allow the wheeling agreements and self-consumption and net metering actually to be uh, utilized by the end users, as well as the independent power producers. So um, Jordan is uh, one of the countries where Jinko is doing extremely well. Uh, in addition to that, obviously, um, in terms of the happening markets, uh, we're looking into Egypt, okay? Right now, the distributed uh, generation, but also we believe uh, in off-grid. But we also believe that uh, utility scale uh, yeah, gold rush will start very soon. In addition to that, also Morocco looks promising now that also they've got the COP22 coming up in November. So uh, the country, we believe, will push their decrees, which have been, let's say, pending. You don't think that uh, they are more focusing on CSP? No, not at all. I mean, they, that's how they started. And actually, uh, you can also say that Morocco has been focusing on wind because they have the wind tenders before as well. But Morocco is the country with very, let's say, various uh, natural and climatic conditions. So there is room for everyone. There is room for CSP, there is room for PV, and there is room for wind. So we believe that also uh, it will take up a significant, a significant amount of PV. Moving down into Africa, obviously we will look into, you know, we will look into the large markets like Nigeria, Ghana, or Kenya, um, Namibia, etc. So all of this Z Zambia and all of these markets uh, which are coming up, um, obviously there is still in some of the markets uh, they still have some hurdles. So in many of the markets, whether it's lack of financing or lack of bankable PPA or lack of the political will or the framework has not been uh, finalized, okay, for uh, in order uh, in order to successfully commission the project. But we believe that it will come. Uh, also, right now, um, uh, development banks such as World, uh, World Bank and IFC is uh, heavily promoting their scaling solar IPP program, which has been adopted already by. Uh, we, we had it on Solar PV TV as well. Okay, perfect. Yes, exactly. So basically, we've seen them um, uh, that they're moving ahead and the they're signing up the government. So that's a great sign for you know and also. For these tenders, they have very stringent requirements when it comes to EPC and technology, so we're very happy because we believe that only the best will, uh, will get the chance to participate. Obviously, you know, I, I did not leave off Dubai because we're in, the, in Dubai, okay? Dubai, uh, due to obviously the DIVA uh, program, um, is uh, a promising market. We're just waiting for the uh, Dubai Solar Shams, the distributed generation, the rooftop prog uh, program to start so that also we can uh, help uh, the, the country uh, and we can help uh, the local uh, players to, you know, to be successful in that sense. Like to Alec Energy, yeah? Alec Energy is uh, one of our, exactly, is uh, one of our very good partners in, uh, in Dubai. So how do you work with your partners in the region? Jinko essentially has a very different strategy from our competitors, okay? So our motto is think local, uh, act global, because if you think about Middle East and Africa, okay, we are the most localized company because I have team 
which is um, uh, scattered through eight countries around the region, more than anyone else. So, um, of course, we have relationship with our EPCs coming from Europe and coming from North Africa, or I'm sorry, North America or you know Asia Pacific. But at the same time, also, we're believing in the uprising local PV sector because we believe that the local economic development and local development of the industry is also critical, especially when it comes to the smaller size projects. So that's why we have people in the key markets so that we can engage with the local, um, we can engage with the local EPCs and uh, local uh, uh, integrators in order to, basically, in order to uh, deploy solar in those regions. Because well. first, uh, I believe that there will be like a uh, big solar parks, but afterwards also the smaller systems will follow, yes? Absolutely. Usually, in most of the cases, as, as you know, also through the years, right? So, um, the utility scale projects have started, have uh, pretty much have opened the gates into, uh, into many of the countries, and it also helped to uh, lower the uh, local, uh, level of cost of electricity so that it has become economically viable also for the commercial, industrial, and residential or off-grid sectors you know, to, to be participating as well. Because as we know, sooner or later, usually utility-scale projects are moving away so that the international uh, players as well, and who is left is the developed um, uh, local sector, okay, with, the local, uh, with the local players who know the market, who is there to stay, Okay, so and uh, that's something we are really investing in, building the relationship with the local par uh, local partners in our key markets. And uh, if you compare different uh, countries in Africa, um, is it a different approach when you are working in these countries, or there is some similarity between the countries? Look, it depends. Uh, Middle East and Africa has 68 countries, whereas let's say sort of active markets probably we're talking around eight. Okay, so and each market is um, very, very different. So we always look at the market as to what's missing. Okay, why the projects are not being realized. Okay, is it uh, because somewhere in the middle of Africa or Central Africa, there is a local developer who has uh, basically, who has already used all the uh, family, let's say, uh, family and friends money, and now he's looking for additional equity or a big brother who can push their project forward. So basically we're coming here with our network and introducing them to our, you know, to our international base of the, uh, you know, of the players, or someone is looking for a bankable PC or whatever it is. So it depends, each market is very peculiar because each market, let's say, has its own challenges, which we're trying to solve together with the client. So that's the value added of Jingo. So we're not purely, let's say, a solar manufacturer, okay, that's what we do, but at the same time, we're really trying to excel by providing additional value added services to our clients.